just very serious in champ select and, and people seem to be having a bit more fun with it so uh, i think they are going to be going a, a little bit more loosey loosey why would you do that why would you ban the allowee out Allowies? oh they are superior serious picks and bans you know this is the faker the faker x pet game matchup oh triple g Coming classic, out there. Yeah, the classic Faker bans, of course, first three changes for Crane Client. Just wants to wants to ban him out, give Faker the quick shout out. Elise coming in in the end to spell out ice. You know, a little brag, a little bravado there, reminding people uh, who came out on top before they get into this game. They also did actually manage to ban out some champions that are pretty good. Yeah, too. Like, oh. So it's like, ooh, we're going to ban ice, but we're going to pick the best champions there. All right, here, Bengi. I, mean, I guess he's still auditioning, right? Gonna go with one of his best champions, the Lee Sin. You know, not we're waiting for some exciting picks. Now, Lee Sin may not be the most unique pick, but always the potential for high playmaking ability. Can do some crazy things. The inset kicks. I'm sure we can expect from Bangi. But yes, they're teasing us right now. Uh, and I mean, Ivern is something that I would love to see. We still haven't seen the Ivern come out yet. And it's, it's a champion that's really strong. It's not just like some troll pick. This champion is ridiculously good, especially, I think, when paired with tanks. Yeah, but it's not that much fun for the player to play a lot of the times. It's a different <laughs> type of personality that loves to enjoy Ivern. So yeah, it is going to be the Kha'Zix that comes through here for Karsa, trying to be a little bit more aggressive on it. And the I love that the Katarina's already locked in too. Two assassins already for Team Ice, ready to go. Now I've heard a oh, lot. Wait, oh, wait, oh, oh, here we go. Yeah. Is. It's the Ivern game. We've been waiting for so long. Ivern versus Kha'Zix, not a matchup we get to talk about, so, but finally we get a chance. Well, it actually could still be Lee Sin jungle and yeah. Ivern support. It could be Aphromoo <laughs> having some fun. It, otherwise, it could be, I mean, could be Lee Sin support, could I, be Lee Sin top lane. We don't really oh, know. Oh, oh, I don't mind, the, man. The green daddy's in the house. Well, the donger as well. Heimerdinger yeah, making his way into the pick man. Now I have no idea where anything is going, but if we do see that Ivern in bottom lane, is it a smite support? Do you just steal a camp at level one, get that yeah. level two? Yeah, it, basically smite is what you take on Ivern regardless of where you go, because you can counter jungle so quickly. So if you know that the guy starts on the top side, go invade, takes you four seconds, put that uh, circle down, end up being the friend of the forest, smite it, and boom, take it away. Yeah, friend of the forest, but not friend of the enemy jungler. I'm wondering what Karsa is going to do here. And the rest of his team, uh, you know, the strategy is getting more and more interesting Stop. as we move forward. Oh, but there Let it is. Go. We were promised the Callista pick by Reckless. He said, I'm going to ask oh. Mata. I want Masa to pick it. He wanted Callista Thresh. <laughs> they see it. The bot lane just gets in so long. Oh, Draven and uh, Avramu Bard. So it's got to be at least in top lane, I think. Yeah. Uh, they picked an order. They all picked their own champions yeah. on the side of Team Fire. But on ice, the Kled comes in, and this is the Praven for Prey. I mean, he got that name, that moniker, because he was really bad at Draven back in the day. We'll have to see if anything's changed here on the All-Star stage. And not going to quite have the traditional back uh, backup that an AD carry expects. Of course, Bard going to be a nice pick, but Heimerdinger, maybe just something he's not so used to playing with. Now, Mata really taking his time. Remember, Reckless asked for Thresh. <laughs> I don't know if Mata's going to oblige him. Flashing the Yasuo, flashing the Syndra. Clearly still got the 1v1s on his mind. Yeah, I don't think he should. I mean, you don't want to get too serious when you have the Heimerdinger on the other team. A lot of fun picks. I'm hoping for something a little bit wacky. I would like the Cinder support. I have actually seen this played where you actually ult first, then you do your stun, you max stun. You can do this massive AOE scatter of the week. I think that's locked. It, it is. is locked. Oh, yeah, there great. it is. Okay, but could it go mid lane? Do we have a Katarina? No, it's this is just Mata. I don't think so, yeah. Mata yeah, at its Mata. finest. And you can see Reckless's face is actually <laughs> priceless right now. He's not so sure how funny this is. He looks. He's like, ooh, I'm unconvinced. I was, I was really excited about the threat. I love the contrast here. Yeah. Prey was having a good time. It's like, yep. <laughs> well, I mean, one of the beautiful parts about being a play-by-play -play caster in this situation is that I don't have to wonder what's going to happen. I can ask you gentlemen to tell me, what is this and what is going to happen? No one knows. Let's yeah. be honest here. This is, this is going to be a bit of mayhem. I predict some fun. That's all I can. <laughs> That's all I can do. I'm useless right now. <laughs> we'll find out. Of course, getting ready to move into the game. Kha'Zix in the jungle. We have a Kled in the top lane. Katarina versus Heimerdinger in the mid lane. I, Lee Sin top two, man. The, the best thing about this is you have Lee Sin and Tree Sin on the same team. So you have so many gap closers for your guys. That's going to be so much fun. I, it's just, I don't know what to say. I'm really excited about Ivern, but there's so many fresh picks here. It's just impossible for me to say anything about what's going to happen. I want to see some team fights. I want to see some people murdering each other. <laughs> of course, take this opportunity as we get into the game. Hashtag Firewind if you believe the Donger, Ivern, Bard, and the rest of the friends can get together. Or if you believe that Mata and his infamous 1v1 Syndra support can come out on top, do that with the hashtag Icewind.
or Claire or Katarina. I mean, really any of these champions you should probably be excited for. Yeah, I think it's actually going to be really interesting. And, and I don't know if we're actually going to see Barons and stuff, but both the teams actually can kill Baron pretty well. Heimbringer actually takes objectives like that super, super fast, and you can set your turrets up around that, plus the all turret. Uh, you have Daisy to tank, and obviously on the other side, too, we have Kazix, who has the isolation on objectives, and we're going to have Glista, too. And I absolutely love the fact that Ivern, he can hide the Dragon, and he can hide the Baron in, in the bush. Rush. So they could actually do a sneaky Baron where they literally have everybody hidden in Brush. Kind of gives it away when everyone's <laughs> missing off that. Like, Woo! oh, there's a bush here, I wonder. Maybe. We don't know, man. We don't know how people are going to play around this champion. Bush it when you walk by uh, and don't actually do it. So then when they walk by, they're like, wait a second. And they walk in. Oh, not going to get the ah. point here. No gold advantage yet over to Team Fire. But of course, Team Fire playing for some regional pride here. Already doing well so far. They're looking to go up 2-0 in these matches. What they're trying to do is they're trying to figure out where Ivern is starting. And Ivern's trying to figure out where Kars is going to start so that he can counter jungle and get the other side. And it's actually pretty important to be able to try to do that. If you can three buff on the Ivern, it does give you a really good start, a really good head start, especially because you can pass over the buffs as well. Some of your laners can collect them. It does look like Ice is laying in wait here. And you can also see that Maple is waiting for an invade on the top side, or I guess the middle of the uh, blue side. And yeah, they're actually just going to trade here. It'll be interesting. I actually, right. I actually love some of the chat that's happening right now. <laughs> yeah. So As Maple says, I zero time play against your champ. He's talking to Bjergsen. He's like, I've never played against the Heimerdinger before. So even he doesn't know what's about to happen. It's pretty fantastic. In most competitive games, of course, players are completely, completely silent. But here, taking the chance to talk to each other. Bangi starting off proccing the passive on the camp there. Moving on to the red buff. Pretty sure to smite that one out is hard oh, no. to take blue buff, but it does reset there. That's a little unfortunate. Yeah, it's a lot unfortunate, actually. Yep. <laughs> As uh, we're going to see Bengi just go over and take his blue immediately. So at least for Karsa, he did start his opponent's buff and, and should be able to kind of go even there. Look, he's the blast plant to make it over the wall. Friend of the forest can smite immediately to take that one away. You haven't played against this champion again. Oh, it's very frustrating. And now that they're pushing up on the bottom side, level two gank, Ivern come in. You have root collar, you have trigger seed. Prey's still level Let's one. go. Let's see what happens here. Aphromo is going to look for the binding. They can find it. Oh, he flashes. goes in. That's the slow. Mata caught out. It's still has his binding. Down. Lots of autos going in. Reckless still throwing out a decent amount of damage. Mata, <laughs> no spells. First blood for the Ivern. Oh, he put the trigger seed on himself. He flashes 70% slow for three seconds at level one on patch 623. Insane. He didn't even land his Q. He didn't have to use it for so long. And then when he did, he actually missed it and hit it on a creep. You don't even need to hit it. Man. The slow from Trigger Seed, overwhelming there, and Maple holding on, now doing his best to keep up in the mid lane, but Bjergsen unconcerned. He's playing a little PvE. That's a really good start for Fire, because all four summoners are down now, and here we have it once again, so he flashes in, gets the slow on both, and just starts punching him, giving him the beat down here. Yep. Does eventually get that first blood. Knight comes out as well, Mata maybe hoping to get a return kill on to Prey, but no such luck. How's <laughs> QTV playing? An interesting top lane matchup here. Looks to be going pretty well in the favor of Mouse thus far. And Clyde is a pretty interesting champion. It's a champion a lot of people were expecting to see you know, in worlds and in serious competitive play. We saw it once, I believe it was Odo Omne played it one game, or no, it was actually Splice played it one game. Wonder. Uh, okay. Wonder did play it, and it didn't go well, and then we never got to see it again. Yeah, it was played a ton in scrims, but the uh -oh. big thing about oh, it is, hold on. Oh, oh bound no into the wall. Praven's coming out. It's doing good damage. Ignite goes down. Mata sets Dropping the ball. Back, it's though. not a whole lot left. <laughs> but is Red going to be able to get one back? It comes out. Lots of spears. Oh. And Red, not enough. At the end of the day, though, Bangy may be the one who's in trouble. Does manage to land the root collar. Maple going to make it in. <laughs> nice kill pickup for the mid laner there. And it's just action across the map. Oh. No flash available for Bangy either. Had to use it there to get the trigger seed in the bottom lane. So went for a really greedy invade. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> it doesn't work out from there, but he still got first blood. Word. And he gets a quick trip back to base. Ooh. Exactly. Faster. QTV now struggling in these trades, but we have do see now the Moby boots picked up for Bangy. So it doesn't look like he's going to stop invading the jungle anytime soon. And Portal is going to take fire out there. They're going to spot the control ward, and we'll stick around to take it down. Yeah, TP from Maple was coming through. And oh, Karsa oh, no. Karsa, he just wants to shut him down. He's a friend of the forest, Whee! Karsa. You can't do this. Oh, nice oh. spite on the camp. <laughs> gets it. He's going out. The worst part is the Ivern walk is so obnoxious. It's the trying swag. to chase him down. The swag walk. It's just 
overwhelmingly stylish. The, the champion gets so frustrating to play against as he gets stronger and stronger. Like once he has redemption, once he has his locket, and he's building up these really kind of tanky items, he still actually has a good amount of damage and dueling power with the daisy. And he's just running around spamming shields with high CDR, with the Athenes, with builds like that. You can hit the 45% CDR and basically have full uptime on your ult. Yeah. The thing though is he went for the mobility boots here instead of the Ionian boots and lucidity. And Ooh. oh, Mouse missed the EQ. But yeah, on a rope knock next. Karsa goes in. He's going to leave. This should be an easy pickup. Thunderlord's procs. Pocket pistol comes out. And Karsa going to take that one away. Yep. Gotta say, you know, Bangy doing, making some good early moves on this Ivern, but Karsa's keeping up so far. Yeah, and it's an aggressive jungler as well. A lot of people were saying, well, can Ivern actually hold up against aggressive junglers? He can, but. The aggressive jungler, if it's a really good player, could punish him super hard because he's usually pretty low during those early parts. Bengi got super greedy with a topside invade and used his flash. So Carson knows that he can walk into the jungle and be perfectly fine against whatever Bengi's going to do. If Bengi doesn't have the damage to kill him. Bjergsen now looking perfectly fine in the mid lane as they continue forward. But, oh, triple man. Afro Moon is also here with the Bard Portal. On the way in, three people in the mid lane. Trigger Seed going to go down, 70% slow. Flash out. Blue Collar not going to connect. And I think, I think what Fire's learned from watching Maple play Katarina last time is that maybe you just don't want to let him have a free lane. Maybe you don't want the Katarina to get comfortably to that mid-game stage. They certainly don't, and uh, the double buffs gifted over to him from, from Bengi earlier were, were not really helping Bjergsen out in that lane. Even just the HP regen plus the Negatron Cloak uh, it does afford you a pretty easy lane. Uh, but Bjergsen has been doing very well for himself, and oh. in comes the Clay Alti. Oh, Bjergsen's in trouble, could get locked up here. Exhaust goes down onto the Katarina. Bjergsen, bear trap on the pole. Joust through, Mouse takes him down. Skarl gonna make his way out, but QTV's on his way in. Now pulling back as Reckless gets aggressive. A little bit too much, so but Prey is stunned up. Ignite goes down, he'll not going to be enough to take him. Is gonna get one, will he look for two? I don't think so, yes. Not gonna find it in the end, but Banky's now the one in trouble. Non-stop e action, again. reset on it. He can't get it one more time. Maple makes it out. Oh, the triple E to get there. Picks them all up. And QTV, though, might actually have him here. He's gonna try to back. Comes Maple. Get some resets on the dagger. He's gonna get the XQ. Oh. Yeah, Bjergsen was walking up towards that way, and then he decided to just change route and go towards the mid lane. There was such good timing on that dive on Bjergsen because he was a few creeps away from six. He actually hit six right as he died. And as you can see, this dive happening, they're flying in, and Bjergsen doesn't have the ultimate to actually retaliate very much here. So as he gets away, just hit six, but it's obviously way too late there. And just a couple seconds off of being able to have that ultimate and, and perhaps turn that fight around. Of course, good communication coming in from the side of Team Ice. We have to consider the language barriers uh, here, but of course, Mouse, Karsa, and Maple, all Mandarin speakers, so relatively easy to communicate those more complicated gank timings. Not quite the same state of affairs for old Bangi and Bjergsen. I mean, one thing that the players do get pretty used to, though, playing a lot of ranked play, is just communicating with pinks, right? You can smart ping your abilities now, you can smart ping uh, when you're coming, when you're going to gank, you can target people, and that does really communicate a lot of what you need. I will say, whenever I watch like an LPL game that has a mixed language team, it is so easy as a caster to know exactly what the team wants to do. It's like, oh, I think they want to do Baron next. It's like five on my way pings, five help me pings on the dragon every single time. Yeah, I'm questioning where you learned all this uh, pink communication. I just get the question mark pink in solo <laughs> queue. That's the only one I ever get, good Five or bad. Like yeah. They're really curious as to why my corpse is on the ground most of the time. I don't know, quite understand what they're looking for. <laughs> yeah, the pings don't help. They really don't. It just actually makes it happen more often to my, to my experience. I get tilted off that. Well, of course, no one's getting tilted here. Praise having an okay laning phase. We'll move forward. 0, 1, and 2, but Reckless building up a pretty decent CS lead. And surprisingly, the central support working out. We've seen it once or twice in competitive, as you mentioned earlier, using the alt to set up those stuns. Definitely not a common pick, though, and not really a lane that you would expect them to be winning, especially when they got first blooded and then immediately died again, and all that kind of advantage was given over to Prey and Aphromoon. Yep, it's uh, the Prey in, in full effect. They just couldn't deal with Reckless there. And also, like, there's a red buff actually sitting here because Bengi picked it up. You can pick it up as a teammate, and nobody's come to pick it up yet. So, Bjergsen, is that yours? Waddle on over here. A lot oh. of movement around. Well, Arsa sort of waiting in the wings here. Ah. No one wants to take on the Kha'Zix quite yet. Maple, of course, here as well. Bot lane potentially in trouble. Yeah, they have to back up here, and now Bengi's going to be oh, over on this side. 
Double Blast Cone. Oh, this is going to be bad for them. We'll see if they can get out. Locked up, right trying to clear the wave with the ultimate there. Does get Let's go, Daisy. Though. He wants to go, but Daisy is on the way in. Temper Jake connects onto two. He's going to stop that action in its tracks. And ain't nobody trying to fight Daisy. You see Daisy, everybody has to run away. And the Icon's going to get flashed there as Aphromoo. And Prey will survive. And, and Bjergsen was able to push mid lane, so uh, he ha is winning on farm. Obviously down on gold because Maple has been able to pick up these kills, and it just seems every time this guy gets an assassin, he's doing so, so well on it. It uh, really is showing off a, a champion that, while it's kind of a fun pick now because it's new, I think it is going to become very standard and competitive, as it seems like it's just straight up good. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Kha'Zix and Katarina both quite good champions. The dream Hold scenario on. we talked about, gentlemen. There are three members hiding in that uh, Daisy, come back! Control Ward will spot them out. Daisy's going to drop. Reckless. Monster. Now maybe looking to take the dragon force. Haven't seen Quist in a long time, but is good at controlling these objectives. Oh. Rend it away. The wall not going to get it. Maple's 101, though. Maybe biting off more than he can chew. Starts to spin to win. That's going to be enough. Wants to jump in. Prey could be next on the menu. They want more. The resets are coming in. Mouse out of nowhere. Going to grab the double kill. Beautiful play for Team Ice. Mouse with the teleport and the charge to get in there. And no answer possible from QTV. Ice. And they end up going really far ahead off that play. And they get the Drake to boot. Yeah, they get the Dragon. They get all the kills. They're going to get the first turret here as well. QTV pushing up in top lane. But uh, things are looking pretty rough for Fire. Been a rough road so far already. I mean, we can hope for the Ivern, the Heimerdinger. Maybe if they fight somewhere on their terms. I mean, what is the next step here for this team? Uh, learn your champion a little bit better uh, throughout the course of the game. Oh, pick up what the Heimerdinger does, pick up what all these guys do, play around it a little bit better. Like, right here. Like, they don't have QTV. QTV is really keeping track of the Kled either. He does have kick, and he sees that Kled just runs all the way away. Yeah. Yep. There, there's the TP coming in now. So you can notice Maple can go in. He goes aggressive here. He's able to get so much damage in. And then there's Mouse with the ultimate. Takes down one, takes down two. He's able to do it so quickly there and, and really showing off the power of the Kled. The initiation from him with that ultimate is so powerful. And once you start triggering the resets for Maple, he's massive. Oh, Karsus going in though, and he's already looking massive. Bangy's in trouble, tries <laughs> to get some friends in the forest. Just gives him barely enough life to make it out. Now Karsa has to run. Oh, moving forward, he does go down, but now the bear trap on a rope is gonna do a decent amount of damage. Maple left all alone. Oh, Bangy with it! Go in, no, don't go in. Just make Daisy go, Maple. Now caught out all alone. Maybe we'll have to get another kill. Can't get the dagger to reset the E. Not gonna oh, he ran back yet. into the altar. <laughs> oh, Draven, not gonna get it. The fancy footwork shut down for Afromu. Maple living forever. Oh, that was hilarious. That Bjergsen dropped the ultimate turret there. They ran away from it. And then Maple jumped to a dagger over his side, and he's like, whoops. <laughs> Took a couple shots. Does uh, end up going down. And Bengi takes his Q as well to go back in when he seemed to be fine there. I mean, Sometimes you get eager. Sometimes you want yep. Daisy to do the thing, and then you do the thing. You and land the You Q. accidentally die to the Katarina. Mine's telling you no. Biggie, preparing for next season, learning Ivern as he goes. Some of the nuances there, some not quite. But Prey now can think. Rest on to by Reckless, but oh. Hada now going to get alley ooped into the team fight. Flashes over the wall just to secure it, and they're going to get the kill in the end. But Bangi caught between a rock and a hard place. Really nothing left for him. Now running through control ward. Heal does come oh, out. Nice, nice. ulti from Afro. Chance he is there, does land it. That's two. Maple now moving in, though. He wants to pick up the rest of the kills. Bjergsen's going to say no. Blast Cone for the disengage. Yeah, and here comes the Kled ulti. There you can hear it. He's oh, for oh, Bjergsen. No. Bjergsen blasts him under the tower. Maybe this is the fight that Bjergsen wants, but he does so much damage. Karsa now moving in, not going to get the reset. Only level six, or only level eight, rather. Now Maple trying to make his way out. The kick does connect. Lee Sin finally going to grab one, putting some numbers on the board for QTV. Maple is just tearing through people on this Kled. He has the Black Cleaver already completed and chops down Bjergsen, getting his summoners too. And Mouse is having the game of his turn so far. And Afro move. Make his way out, Karsa, hungry for blood. The control ward will spot him, but Prey is here. Maybe at least for a little bit of disengage. He's picking on someone his own size, the pink ward. Now <laughs> having to back off. It's a rough road here for Team Ice. These are a lot of Ooh, terrifying Ooh, 0 for 2 there from Reckless. <laughs> he failed the blast cone, failed his Q over the wall. It seems pretty awkward with Callista, though. Uh, he have to just stop. You have to accept, I'm yeah. not going to jump this time. I'm just going to auto-attack. Oh, QTV, they're closing in on him. Mata is here. 
haven't kind of touched on the Cinder support, but it seems to be doing very well. Mata, hungry for blood this game. We saw in the last play, flashing over the wall just to get the Fates call. Try to secure that kill in the mid lane. I mean, like, Reckless himself just this entire tournament has been playing out of his mind. Really, really going hard in all these game modes. Darso, though, it is Mouse oh. on top of it. Finish up a rope oh, the turn going to get taught. Oh, that's so much damage. Draven can now afford to get aggressive, but is just going to back off. Nice play coming to Prey and Aphra move. Yeah, finally gets a cash in, too. Prey had died multiple times there before picking up anything. Of course, now they're starting to push in. Mouse going to have to be careful, but he's got back up on the way. Bottom lane coming in. The Mata. Ooh, Mouse is going to get aggressive. Will get dismounted here. Does have the pocket pistol. He's going to grab one. Oh, he there he goes. Ooh, little Kled on his oh. own. Pistol shot, the fade away, the double kill. Mouse, 6-0 and 1. Mouse is doing his best Graves impression there. <laughs> the buckshot taking down Avramu, and he is just going off. It has to feel so good oh. with the amount of black this guy gets all the time. Yeah, and I mean, he was voted in, and people were like, what, what happened? Like, the guy had to leave Worlds a little bit early because of personal reasons, and they were like, okay, let's get it. He's having a great time here, and that's awesome to see. And this Kled, man, once you get ahead, it just snowballs so hard. And I hear it again. It's up at the top lane. He's going to go for a charge. Ford Bjerks is the one who's in trouble, though, and now he is going to get stunned up. Maple just taking his time on this sweet kill. He is going to grab it in the end, but the tower to make his life a little bit harder. Still gonna grab that one in the end. Ugh, all those daggers, all those daggers. Once you learn the pattern to picking them up and using the Shumpo three, four times in a row, it gets pretty insane. But hold on, he's gonna need more. Forward, here comes QTV, kicks Mata back into the Daisy. tower. Fades call! Daisy's here to play, though. QTV, Carson's behind him. him. He gotta respect the golem, but he gets cut through so quickly. No one's gonna drop on the side of Team Ice, but Team Fire are dropping members left and right. Yeah, these guys are just playing it so well and uh, looking so good on some of these champions. The Kled has been massive. Reckless has been tearing it up on the Kalista, one of his signature champions. And now Maple with the Rylize completed. There's almost no escaping him. We check in on the gold, almost 6k in the favor of Team Ice as well as that mound right. They're just getting farther and farther ahead. You can see some of the differences between these lanes. The Katarina, 1,500 just about ahead of Bjergsen. It's pretty terrifying to play against. Looking for the Infernal here. TP from behind. You can see it on the minimap, but that means that they know on Team Fireside. Oh, they are no. surrounded here. They have to get out. Fancy footwork, the fog of war, the horror movie stream. Where are the bad guys going to come from? <laughs> Team Fire doesn't know. It's from all over. Oh, trying to take the portal to safety. It is going to be a magical journey because they're caught behind enemy lines, <laughs> and no one except Bangy made it anywhere he wanted to be. The important thing to remember in situations like this, you don't have to run faster than the other team. You just have to run faster than one of your team. Oh, Bangy, the slowest man left not standing as Team Fire going to look for the desperate recall here. Oh, they're in enemy territory. It's a relentless pursuit. Oh, Mata's Mata. gonna check it. He's Take gonna throw a Q. Oh, oh <laughs> doesn't E? It doesn't use the. Oh, no, Prey! Oh, oh, no. Avermoo made what it he back. Wants. Avermoo, the lone survivor. <laughs> the fastest runner on the, on the team <laughs> side of Team Fire. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> Prey started that recall pretty slow. Afro was a, was a good second or two faster. Otherwise, they could have been out of there scot free. Yeah, that's when you're like, are we turning? Are we fighting? What are we doing? This, no, is the, the, this is the future of the new meta. Rip tail. We saw it taken last game. We'll see it taken again after not seeing any uh, competitive Go. play for the majority of the season. Yeah, when you have a 7 0 and 1 fled, you definitely pick that thing up. It'll be on until, what, 28 minutes into the game? Oh, hello! Oh, UTV, that's not what he wanted. <laughs> oh, air trap on a pull doesn't connect. That's a decent amount of damage. Yeah, kind of 38. All up. 20 minute timer, of course. It's a pretty impressive time period. Ooh, Avramu, nice stun over the wall, but maybe a lot of escape potential here. Is not gonna get stunned up. Maybe goes forward. The off-team channel for still doing damage. Daisy is on the hunt. Oh, Mabel doesn't the care, kill. but he should, because the tower's gonna take him down. Prey popping off on the backside. Bjergsen going to pick up his first kill of the game, so finally getting involved there is Maple and Karsa fight off more than they can chew, and we'll see if Fire can get something back and pick up this Infernal. So they're going to go after the Infernal, but Mouse has his ultimate. He has charge. You can see him waiting on the top side. Looks like he's just taking the Scuttlecrab. May just oh, he's looking to push. He can just make his way down. He has a massive range on the ultimate, but oh, instead... He's out. Yeah, trying to figure out if he wanted to do it or not. But he doesn't. Unlucky. Team Fire thematically getting the Fire Drake. Feels appropriate. Of course, 
Mono Graphics gonna have to be careful not. Oh, he oh, got him just, just on the just very on the edge. edge. Just stun coming in. Doesn't matter if you flash, buddy. The bar Q's still gonna connect after the prey. It up, but they should have tried to save prey because he is the one burning down. Reckless looking for the chance, not gonna get it. He gets taken out in the end, and Maple caught on the backside. But here comes the charge from the clan. <laughs> not gonna connect. He flashes into the action. Lee Sin's already got a double kill. Aphromoo is now set to fall, but Bangy's doing his best to save. No, Portal out. There's simply too, too many escapes. There's nothing left. Maple trying to make the hero play, but I don't think he has enough damage. Bjergsen's the dagger looking. on the back side. The flash. Oh, oh. Rockets go in, but Bjergsen will find too much there. Mouse <laughs> getting a kill. Oh, the ulti, the rocket ulti from Bjergsen got immune by the dismount animation yeah. from Mouse. As he's hopping off, you oh. can't hit him. it over the wall. Maple's on the the wall. Oh, the reset from Maple. He wants more. He's not going to get Bjergsen. The Rocket's <laughs> going to take him down. That's what I call playing like a man. Maple <laughs> is not backing down, embracing the All-Star spirit. you got to love it. you got to go big or you got to go home. It's the last match he's going to be played here. Oh, man. That was like, it looked like it was going to be Fire's moment there. But Ice, they turn it around and they almost make it an even trade, though. This has to be the most irritating team to fight in the history of teams. <laughs> oh, yeah. It time. looked like it was going to be a three for zero. The fact that they try to get Prey here, it's like, all right, let's get Prey. It's like, oh, he's got all these spears in him. Can't rend it. Oh, he gets a shield. Walk away. Oh, here comes the Kled from the backside. He just walks forward, flashes to the left afterwards. Can't get in on him. Got no. <laughs> Carson has jumped to him. Watch Maple. Look at him. QTV is trying to chase him down here uh, on the back end of this fight and it looks like he's for sure dead. But he's so slippery on the Katarina, he's able to jump back oh. to his dagger, then back to a minion. That has to be so frustrating, watching him get away. You gotta think of these team fights, it just has to be overwhelming to play against this many kind of oddball champions. You've got turrets being set up, you've got Daisy trying to auto attack you to death, you've got Brush popping up in the middle of the fight, a Katarina with seemingly limitless escapes. Mouse though, don't run quite away, so lucky. Run right at him. This well, is the man mode. This is what Zayo wanted to see. He does get it in the end. Really good by Maple as well. He threw the Q, and the Q will always bounce about 300 units behind the first person you hit. So it just flies over the wall, gets an E, so he gets a reset on that Shumpo for the kill. Ice now moving into the bottom side. We'll have to see if Maple can get more resets. He's taking his time in the mid lane, though, to push up. The rest of the team pretty preoccupied with that bot tier, too. Yeah, and QTV is up in the top lane still. and. It does have his Have TP, but there's, there's not really any good wards here. And oh, oh in comes the Mouse charge. And Mouse doing a decent amount of damage, but Aphromoo looking for the disengage. Mouse the lone man into the tower. It doesn't matter. He takes down Prey. A lot of knockups going in. Karsa looking for another kill. Aphromoo barely makes it out. Vengi has to play safe here. Root Caller not going to connect. QTV still split pushing. He canceled that TP and uh, is going to be pushing into this turret, but I think Ice is just going to try to force the inhibitor turret, and I think they're going to get it. Yeah. Forward, Reckless doing decent damage. Karsa as well. Maple even has enough AP to start hitting hard here. Yeah, and you can see Mouse on the top side. He's going to continue to push to try to get up there, try to stop QTV. Maple caught up, is just going to snap back to his teammates, trying to make it to safety. Mouse looking for the joust, not going to find it. Ooh, QTV had used to teleport too and cancel this. So yeah, Mouse has the TP advantage. This just looks pretty bad for a fire right now. I oh. a lot of advantages. I like the play coming in from Mata. He says, I know how to counter this Ivern. I'm just gonna pick up this Golem and take it away from you. No Daisy, no problem. We have a conversation about that earlier today. If it happened or not. Obviously you can. And here's the dive one more time. Mouse, not afraid at all. Takes down Prey right away. And someone has to soak that ultimate. You need to be the closest person to it. So your AD carry is not, and doesn't die at the very start of the fight. And Mouse, of course, almost going down in a 1v1 against the Heimerdinger empowered tower there. <laughs> or empowered turret, rather. Tower defense, League of Legends style. <laughs> Another two. Oh, Maple hungry for more. Ooh, exhausted Ooh. the Lee Sin kick. Just carries it right into his teammate there in QTV, making the hero play to save Bjergsen. Oh, Baron pings on the Baron here. They do have a Kalista on the side of Team Ice. So Reckless, be able to do a lot there. Mangi, is he going to burn a smite here? Does have the camp stacked up, doesn't need to. Have to be careful. Uh, Reckless very low. Yeah, Bjergsen's in base, so they're going to have to wait for him. And here comes the Kledo once oh, again. Charge, oh, QTB. QTB makes it over the wall, but there's just more members waiting for him. Too many jumps, too much mobility. Ice picking up one before they start this Baron. And that's going to be tough. They can just keep baiting here. And and if, if Fire is not going to come check, they'll start it up. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They have the Kalista. Has been spotted out by the blue trinket, though. 
isolated damage from the Kha'Zix. The Callista Spears that backing up with Bangi. <laughs> trying to Goes make a play in. Daisy gets kidnapped, and now the Fates Call comes in. Bjergsen gets caught out. Daisy finally into the team, but Maple's in the back line. It's one, looking to get two. Carson making the bounce house happen as the duo just cuts through the team. The double resets, tag teaming down fire, taking out one after another. These guys are just jumping everywhere. <laughs> it's so much mobility, and the fact that they're going to pick up a Baron afterwards as well, it's going to be more than a 10k gold lead here, and Ice are just looking on fire. And most of the time when we cast games like this, there's one champion with resets that we need to watch in a fight, but now there's a Kha'Zix and a Katarina. I can't even keep up anymore. But Aphromoo, oh, maybe finally didn't like that. a little bit of time. He didn't like that one bit. Maple, oh, yeah, gets him. Clean Katarina play coming in. Aphromoo runs for his life, but the dagger is still going to land, hit its mark. Certainly will. It feels like uh, it's hard to miss when point, point click, but <laughs> they are getting another Baron. They're getting themselves so far ahead, and uh, Bjergsen just can't stay alive in these fights, even with some peel from his team, even with the shields uh, from that Ivor, and he's going to go down so quickly, and then the resets start coming in. Once one dies, the rest are pretty much sure to follow. Oh, yeah, and they don't really have any tanks on the side of fire. Ice, the Kled's going to be able to just rip through anybody. Carso will get those squishies. And Bengi, he's not hiding the Drake. It's not in a bush. Oh, Stealth comes up, charges on the way in, too. Looks like they want to party. Oh, Prey is going to be the first target. That's the reset we talked about. Maple's on the back line. Keep your eyes on the Blast Cone. One going to go down. The double kill for Carsa. Maybe Hunger for more blood gonna come out here. Yeah, Maple's here. Oh, they definitely Maple want wants it. it. One deck of reset. He can get two into the back line. But move. Nice disengage on the bar. Oh, poor Prey, man. Poor Prey. <laughs> Every single time. There's nobody to soak it for him. There's no frontliners. He just gets the Kled ulti almost every time. Yeah, Prey's, Prey's not having a good time against uh, all these assassins, all this dive. And here comes a TP right back from Maple, and they're looking to try to finish this game. Oh, well, Mouth goes in, and no one's doing any damage. This character is simply too tanky. Not getting opportunities to turn back. Carson wants a little bit more. Dagger does Eat. land. Maple goes for it. He's going to jump in, spin to win, trying to get a little bit more. Ooh, oh, he wanted it. enough. Prey does manage to take him down to the end. Carson! <laughs> Carson <laughs> was. Just the BM recall. Oh, Fate's call goes in, and it's Bangy's fate to fall down. Prey, unfortunately, next on the menu. Gets a brief glimmer of hope as he takes down the Katarina and immediately falls. Team Ice cleaning up house. Uh, they take down the Katarina, and they're going to take down the game. The ace for Team Ice says they're going to snuff out fire. 1-1 <laughs> one, one now in these last three matches as we approach our final mixed team match. Team Ice. It's crazy picks and an even crazier win, but they're going to close it out with confidence. A beautiful set of fights and an absolutely insane game. Or they're not going to hit. Please hit the next one. Don't make it. One more time. Oh, one more. One more. All right. Mata needed to stat pad. Beautiful oh. win at the end of the day. Taking one for the road there. That was a fun one. Mouse just put on absolute clinic on the Kled. 11, 0, and 10 on Kled, and definitely getting some help there from Maple, who's 10, 6, and 7. But uh, really, it was Mouse doing most yeah. of the heavy lifting. And, and this guy was everywhere. He shows up in the mid lane, kills Bjergsen on what was an excellently coordinated dive, and then just starts charging into every team fight. Every time we think, oh, yeah, oh, they're going to